Hello, and welcome to Fractal Model 22.9. We are really excited about this release, especially after the storage ITC was passed and other aspects from that IRA bill. The first update has to do with the storage ITC. Now you can do the ITC on the storage as a standalone project. Also, any augmentations that are done within the first 10 years will be able to take the storage ITC. Now you can take PTC on solar. For the second update, we've updated our website. Now if you log in to app.fractalmodel.com, you can see the latest releases, you could get our newsletter, and soon you'll be able to see other material on the website. The last update is we continue to update our pricing with all of the RFPs that we help run. We are able to update what we've been seeing and we share that with you so that you can forecast your future costs. So let's jump in. As many of you know, the Fractal model can do standalone storage. It can do solar plus storage, AC coupled or DC coupled. It could do wind plus storage. It can even do wind plus solar plus storage. Now with the storage ITC, when you're doing standalone storage, you can put on the 30 to 40% ITC and that's all configurable. Let's look at that. So we have the new PTC and any adders. We also have an ITC section here where you can also put the bonus. And as usual, we have a lot of optionality when it comes to the physics of the battery. That's here on the system design page. The battery page is as strong as ever. As many of you know, we have all the major brands as far as different chemistries, uh, different flavors of chemistries that are out there from the different vendors. So when you have a different business model with a different use case, it changes the throughput, it changes things like depth of discharge, and everything adjusts as you change the business case. You can also choose from doing analysis in more of a seasonal type of structure where it's more of this 12 by 24, or if you go to the dashboard and turn on the optimizer, just two steps. And now we're at the optimizer. And if you go to the market prices page, you can see we have some prices preloaded. Here I've expanded the page so you can see the 20 years of pricing. The next thing you would do is get this scheduled. So I'm going to go to our add-in and go to the optimizer page, hit the get schedule. And now you can see the first day of each of these 20 years and you can see the trend of how the business model changes over the years. Next step is to dispatch it, and that will give us our inputs for both the physics and the financials and ends up populating the cash flow. Once we hit that dispatch button and it calculates for a few seconds, you can see the site output has changed a little bit from when we started, and now we can iterate. One of the things that'll help you iterate is that we've also updated our pricing so double check the pricing here we're a little lean on the pricing uh, so maybe we we bumped this up a little bit uh, and notice that if we change the system size if we go maybe to a two hour battery now the recommendation is a little bit different so the pricing estimator adjusts to the size of the project, both power and duration, and to the COD date. Since we adjusted the size, we can run the optimizer one more time because it's going to give a different result since we have a different size battery. So let's run it one more time. Here you can see that the first day of each of these years changed just a little bit because we went from a four hour to a two hour battery. And once again, we'll hit dispatch so that we could see how it performs on both the physics and the financials. All right, so just a few things changed. We had a little bit different cycle count. Uh, the, the rate of return still doesn't register very well, uh, but you know sometimes projects end up like this. The last update is the new website. If you type in app.fractomodel.com uh, and you log in, uh, so there's a login step in between this, you can see in the new website, you can access all the previous releases and you have things like the Fractal Newsletter 
and we've made it easy for you to access our tutorials and, and videos they explain. And then if you would like to put in a request for new features or if you found a bug, please go to the support tab and you can put in a request for that feature update or that bug. All right, those are the updates for Fractal Model 22.9. Let us know if you have any questions. We're also happy to hop on a webinar and perform a demo. We thank you for your time and have a great day.